Hello everyone. Uh, one of the things we do here at our farm is we raise uh, beef cows. That's our primary objective is to raise uh, and sell beef. We really don't sell any live animals. Don't have a whole lot of other enterprises going right now. Uh, so one of the things we've been doing is we mostly have a Hereford mama cow herd uh, and we've crossed with a couple of different animals. We've tried uh, Angus and we've tried Dexter. Uh, we don't really want any giant animals, but we don't want small ones either. Uh, so we're trying to find that happy medium of easy to raise animals uh, that produce beef reliably, uh, of high quality. So one of the breeds we've been testing now is I got a young South Pole bull. Uh, well, instead of waiting, you know, almost three years for the first animals we can harvest, what we did is we bought that South Pole bull and then I bought a couple South Pole steers. This one right here on the left, he's a purebred steer. He's about a year old, a little bit more. And this other one is a 50% South Pole, 50% Beef Master. No, it's a different breed, but I kind of wanted a purebred and a 50% and a South Pole because that'll give me some, some idea of, you know, what we'll get with eventually having purebreds if we stick with South Pole or having some crossbreds. Uh, with our South Pole and our Herefords. So yeah, these two are brand new. We're gonna probably plan to butcher them next July, which will put them a little bit over two years old, which for us on grass-fed, grass-finished, we haven't really been able to do it consistently in less than 24 months with any of the breeds. So I figure unless these show signs of really being well finished by sometime before then, we'll probably wait till July, maybe even August before we butcher them. And we get to see uh, what kind of yields and hanging weights and meat quality we get from them. But yeah, these are new, so I figured I'd keep them for about two weeks. We just put them right here. We got about an acre catch pen um, that we use to catch all our animals and, and treat them or do whatever we have to do. So for one, they'll be easy to catch if we got to do any treatments. If they uh, show any signs of illness or, or injury. And uh, if not, whenever the herd comes back around through this pasture right out here, which will be in about three weeks, then I'll, uh, I'll join these up with the herd and keep on herd. That's my squeeze chute and alley and catch pen. i do a video on that at some point. But anyway, that's the two new steers and we'll keep you posted on... Uh, how they grow and eventually, hopefully, uh, how well they butcher.